What's going on guys, King Shrats here back in the video on the channel. Today, we gonna get into some, uh, this, I'm calling this episode Unpopular Opinions because we've got a lot of opinions that apparently aren't popular. So, that's what we're getting into. Um, we went to Banana King as usual. Um, I got myself, uh, I don't even know what I got, Salty Papa as usual. I always get Salty Papa. Um, if you know what Salty Papa is, it's french fries with some hot dogs on it and they call it Salty Papa. I didn't get a fork, I don't even care. Um, got myself a shrimp quesadilla, which like looks like they play kickball with it, but I bet it's finna slap. And also, uh, a pernil, pernil burrito, which like looks like an absolute banger. Um, I never had this, I saw it on a menu, I was like, I'm finna get this. And then I got some voodoo chips, zaps, if you're from New Orleans, you'll ring your vibes, as well as some pretzel big cups, the Reese's joints and uh, some Twix salted caramel. I had these a couple years ago, but they brought them back because it's like Christmas time. Um, we finna vibe with him. He has an arepa, he already had half of it. You know vibes, to know it is to love it. He also had an empanada he had already. He got a bunch of those. I got a few. And some Jojo Pellegrinos and a uh, uh, Reese's <clears throat> Christmas tree. But anyway. <laughs> Reese's Christmas tree. Yeah. Yeah. Reese's Christmas tree. You know what it is? Man, this thing is destroying me over here. Okay. I'm a pinche pernil. That's fire. Um, I've been sitting on this for a week. I'm gonna keep it back. You want to talk, right? I'm actually like I don't get you it. Want to talk? What? What do you want to know? I'll tell you. There's two things now because we've been talking about this for the last ten minutes. You should do a podcast. I don't, I don't even understand. Isn't that what we're doing? I don't know. It's not, but people want to know. 100% what we're doing. Alright. I'm not even in the video now. No, you're 100% right. Alright. Two things. Number one. We talked about it last week. I got tagged in stupid amount of videos. No, what do you mean with that? What do you people kept tagging me in shit about Lil Wayne versus Jay Z. And people act like it's this That's like good, right? Nah, it is because I appreciate that people understand the content. Yeah. But at the same time, people sitting here like Jay Z's a scrub. And I'm gonna die. That's what people are saying? Or they're making it look that way. Like Lil Wayne is hands down just better than Jay Z. Well, I mean. I'm gonna die on this hill. And I have to preface this. I have to say this before I even get into this. When you talk about Jay Z and Lil Wayne, you're talking about two of my top rappers of all time. Like, if there's a Mount Rushmore of rappers, Hove and Wayne are both on it. I love Lil Wayne. Okay. But Wayne is not messing with Jay-Z when it comes to, like, overall everything. There are things that Lil Wayne's better than Jay-Z at, 100%. But, overall, I'm still taking Jay. And you disagree with me. I mean, it's not an overwhelming disagreement, but I don't understand how you're so cut and dry about it. I don't say cut and dry. I actually didn't think about it. It's not cut and dry. Cut and dry is like... Jay-Z is a much better businessman than Lil Wayne. Forget the business. The rapper. No. Okay. So, I had this... Somebody sent me this TikTok. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go through it one by one. I'm going to mute the video. And they had su nah. They had subjects. What? Do not. Mm. They had subjects. Every single reason why, you know, Jay isn't as good as Lil Wayne, right? So people share this opinion then. Some people do. Okay. I'm gonna put it this way: You're the only person I know who was born before the year 2000 that doesn't agree. And I'm sure there's other people. I'm just saying off the top of my head. You know what I'm saying? I hear like. I know there's other people that don't agree with, like, me. And I'm not going to sit here. Okay, and I have to say this, too. My opinion is not fact. It's an opinion, which means neither of us are wrong. Like, you, there's no such thing as a wrong opinion. Unless you're going to say, like, 2 plus 2 is 7. Well, understand. But if you're going to say this versus this, there's no wrong or right. Like, right. your opinion's not wrong. I just disagree. I don't like tissues over here, do you? I left them out there. You need one? I'm getting them. Kind of, yeah. Oh, so. Right. 
Whatever you know. What is it I'm about to listen to? I'm not playing anything. Oh. They had, okay, the person that, okay, I'll complete this way. They had a whole list of reasons why this versus this, right? So, the first thing was flow. You understand what flow means? Yes. You think Lil Wayne's flow is better than Jay-Z's? How about this? I particularly don't care for both of their flow. But, okay, but, but this if is... if I had to pick? Yes. Uh, I would have to go Lil Wayne because I like how Lil Wayne makes things rhyme that don't rhyme sometimes. Jay-Z never did that? I don't know. He, Jay-Z's safe. I have to say this, too. He's very safe. There is much more of a recency bias with these two artists. Jay-Z's prime was around the turn of the century, right? 97, 98, 2003, around there. Wayne's prime was like 2005 and so on. Do you disagree with that? Yeah, no, it's... That's right. Like, Wayne was an artist around the turn of the century, but he was more like he wobbledy, was, wobbledy. Yeah, like, no, yeah. he was actually really... There was a period of time when Lil Wayne was a rapper, but he never made any music. It was weird. I liked Lil Wayne back then. I did. Well, what did I, he ever... What did he do? <laughs> had multiple albums. He did. It's like Lil Wayne turned on a switch and he just became a beast. That I agree with. And I was going to get into that, but I agree with that. Lil Wayne dropped two albums before I took him serious as a rapper. Yeah. I, agree with I remember him then. The block but he is didn't hot. Really do much. The block is hot and five hundred degrees. Two albums before. It wasn't until the Carter one where I was like, "Yo, Lil Wayne could rap." First album he did, Carter one. Carter one, two, and three are his best three albums to me. I don't know if there's a debate there. I don't know if you listen to his other albums. I listen to every Lil Wayne album. Like I remember them. I played them. I liked them. Listen, you're very, you're more, much more polished than I am with this. I couldn't tell you whose album is what. Well, if you're going to tell me one artist is better than the other, like, you got to come with reasons. You know what I'm yeah, but if albums mean something to you, that's what I mean. Not just, and I will give you this before I even go into this topic. When it comes to mixtapes, Lil Wayne shits on Jay-Z in every which way but form possible. Yeah. Fact. Done. He had the Squad mixtapes back in the early 2000s. He had the Dedication mixtapes. He had No Ceilings, which is literally like a better mixtape than almost anyone's ever mixtape. So, I'll agree with that. Mixtape artist, Lil Wayne. JG doesn't make mixtapes. So, it's not even a contest. And even if it was, I couldn't see Jay being a better mixtape artist than Lil Wayne. Off top. 100%. But overall, flow, I would give that to Lil Wayne. He has a better flow, though, because Jay-Z's very commercial. I mean, so is Wayne. Come on. Man. Okay. Top ten, say that? top 10 selling rappers of all time. Jay-Z and Lil Wayne are four and five. Jay-Z is four, Lil Wayne's five. They're both commercial. But Lil Wayne... Has a lot more underground stuff than Jay-Z does. Because he does mixtapes and Jay-Z does not. That's what I'm I saying. I give you that. That's why I just... I, I yeah. just I'm, That's I why I like Lil Wayne. I don't like... Because he's not mainstream? Yeah. Big but time. If you know how I feel about mainstream everything. But if you're talking about a better artist, overall, first of all, and I'm going to go through it, okay? Because the first one I said was Flo, and I will give that to Lil Wayne. Like, agreed. All right? Next thing. Voice. Terrible, both of them. Really? I like both of their voices. Uh, you don't like Lil Wayne's voice? Lil Wayne, weird. But his voice. He's like, uh, 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 but it's distinctive. You can pick it out. It's. I like the sound of Lil Wayne's voice. I do. Are you like? How can you say that? Uh, Again, your opinion's not wrong. Wait. If you I had to pick. Yeah. And I, might, I might take Jay-Z's voice. I would. But I like Lil Wayne's voice. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. But for me, <clears throat> Lil Wayne gets too like weird with that. Like I the wobbly wobbly or yeah. like the lick me like that. Yeah, shit. That gets weird. But I like that. Yeah, it's weird. See, when I'm talking 05 to 2010 to 2012, 2013, like Lil Wayne was head and shoulders above Hope at this point. But I still would take 
<laughs> would take Lil Wayne, like would take Jay-Z. And as far as voice, I feel like Jay-Z's voice is much more even and versatile than Wayne's, right? Lil Wayne had a, like, a, like a three, four year span where he was on every song, you know, even like, like, you know, like classical music, like rock music and everything. But I still would take Jay's voice. So here's the next category. I don't know how you go into like shit like this, but influence is the number three, thir three category. Oh, hey, Lil Wayne here. It ends now. Think about it. Lil Wayne hands out. Why? And Lil Wayne never even tried. That's why. Influence. Yeah. Why would you say Lil Wayne and I? Okay. Because he started the whole skater rapper thing. And here's where I'm going to agree with you, but not. Lil Wayne and Jay Z are two of the most influential rappers ever. Because I do agree with this. Lil Wayne birthed an entire generation of what trends are now. Skater fashion, face tattoos, heavily tattooed rappers, gold grills, dreadlocks. You can go down the line. I agree with that. The entire rhyming style of Lil Wayne came from Jay-Z. Now, <clears throat> Jay-Z doesn't write his lyrics. He remembers them. And then he says them over and over again. Lil Wayne does the same thing. Lil Wayne will tell you to your face if you ask him how he learned that. He learned it from Jay-Z. But that doesn't have an influence on But how masses. can you say that an influential rapper was influenced by somebody else? Personally influenced. He was. Lil Wayne had more of an influence on the masses. That's great for Jay-Z to influence another rapper. It's, I'm not arguing with you. He's got him on that. But it's influence... What good is it if he influenced one person when Lil Wayne influenced millions? I got news for you, too. I just thought about this. I'm going to give Wayne a big compliment right here. He... He was the first rapper to start dating hot women. Wasn't he? Publicly, like, no. Who before him? Oh, who do you think? When was Lil Wayne's prime? 2005. And so I'm, you think that... Look, no, give me one. I'm, I'm having this discussion with you. Mm, I just okay. thought about it now. And I can't think of anybody else. Puff Daddy. Jennifer Lopez. All right, besides Puff Daddy, that's it. You can't say that. Yeah, but Lil Wayne had, like, multiple. Who? Nivea. No, you going back to that shit? He had them all. Who'd Foxy Brown date? Okay. I know. Lil C's? Oh, that was Lil' Kim. Yeah, I forget. Corrupt. Yeah, but, you know. You can't say that, though. No, you can say that. Because Rappers always because had Lil Wayne had Lauren girl. London. He had Nivea. He had, uh, what's her name? Christina Milian. Come on, bro. Everybody bit off him after that. As if that's a thing you can bite off somebody. Think about that. I don't disagree. I think Lil Wayne has more of an influence, especially now. Yeah. Every rapper has face tattoos, dreadlocks, multiple tats, that delivery style, the punchline. I don't disagree with that. I think people downplay Hope's influence, though. But I agree. Influence? Lil Wayne. So, you can't tell me that I'm being... The funny thing is, after this, you're going to be like, I actually agree with you based off the criteria, but I still think Jay-Z... I no, know, keep I going. I oh, love you. I don't know. You're you got the crap. I here. love Lil Wayne. I'm just going down the line. Yeah, let's go. But I agree. Influence? Lil Wayne birthed an entire generation of rappers, bro. Like, there's no denying that. Okay. I think people don't give Jay-Z his flowers when it comes to that kind of shit, but I agree. So right now, Lil Wayne 2, Jay-Z 1. I'm I'm trying to break this down because I love them both, and I can play both of their whatever. And I'm not going to go to my list for the next one, because I'm going to go to this. Albums. Jay-Z. Hands down. That's like Jay-Z's claim to fame. I'll give him that. How can you... So like, but you're saying that like you're downplaying it. Okay, fine. But... Um... No, I'm downplaying it. You're saying it like it's not a big deal. No, he. that's his... That's his thing. At the albums. But like... As a rapper, 
How can you say it like he's got the albums? Like, because here's how I see it. Just because a quarterback has the most championships, my opinion, doesn't make him the greatest quarterback. Is Tom Brady to, Tom Brady to go? I believe Tom Brady is the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because of his championships. In my eyes. Okay. So why is Tom Brady the GOAT? Because I got news for you. No, this shrimp case of the is crazy. Yeah. By the way, yeah. Well, because she knew. Oh, yeah, but Anakin is what it is. What it is. Okay. So why is Tom Brady the GOAT? I personally think Tom Brady's the GOAT because mm. I I was I watched him play. Okay. And the things he does is just insane. So Cha Tom Brady he could have he could have won zero championships, doesn't matter to me. So you think Tom Brady is the most talented quarterback of all time? Yeah. Really? Yeah, and I thought that this year. This year I, I gave that a realization. So you think Tom Brady at age forty? Yeah. Forty two, whatever. Yeah. Is the most talented quarterback of all time. I have to say it. Yeah. That you've ever watched play. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You're not wrong. It's your opinion. This year. But he's Do still... I prefer Tom Brady? No. In your life, the quarterbacks, because we talked about this last week. Yeah. Quarterbacks you watched play the game. Oh, we're talking all time now. Yes. You yeah. said GOAT. GOAT yeah. means greatest well, of all no, time. Last time we talked, it was now. Hmm. GOAT. This is greatest of all time. GOAT. Yeah. Tom Brady's the GOAT. Yeah. I don't disagree. I know you don't. But you would think he's the most talented quarterback you've ever seen play the game. Yeah. Really? And I, and I think sports is fixed. And that's still saying something. But, like, quarterback play. Yeah. Right? Ability to read defense, like, throw under pressure, arm strength, here's accuracy. The, here's the bottom line. Tom Brady. Mm. If I can give a percentage of how many mistakes the man makes, it's got to be... Under five percent. So I guess you didn't watch him play in the Super Bowl against the Giants. Guy couldn't throw a fucking lot of Yeah, blender. that's in the five percent. Now game doesn't decide. That's one aspect of talent. Yeah, but that's big for me because when I watch the game of football, one thing that differentiates a great quarterback from a good quarterback is bad decisions, and he rarely does so. So Tom Brady is over a twenty. -year okay, I'll do it this way because I'm I'm gonna give you Brady, but I'm gonna spin back. If Brady's the best, then who's number two? Ever! Joe, huh. Montana. Joe Montana. And I caught the tail end of Joe Montana. I don't think you ever even saw Montana, to be honest. Yeah, I remember you. I remember him on the Chiefs. He sucked on the Chiefs. He was still good on the Chiefs. He was okay. He didn't have anybody. Agreed. That's another thing that I give Tom Brady credit for. Listen, I want to say all day Peyton Manning's number one. That's my guy. I love Peyton Manning. On straight up talent? Yeah. Peyton Manning is the best. I, I hear you, but... On straight up... But just, how do you rate talent? I mean, Brady, I can't stand Brady, but the guy's a freak. I agree with you. That's, GOAT is so, Brady. So I have to give him that. Tom Brady is the GOAT. Okay. So I right agree here. with that. I'm not... I'm not but, again, I, our criteria is always different. Yeah. Like, let me say this. If I'm picking a team, as crazy as it sounds, I'm not taking Brady. Really? That's the crazy thing. Okay. I'm taking Peyton Manning. I would take Brady. That's so funny. And Brady, to me, is the, we agree on the GOAT. Brady's the GOAT. Yeah. No argument. But most talented quarterback ever, Peyton Manning. Yeah, and I'm taking and I'm giving Brady the GOAT, but I'm taking Peyton. Do you know who I would put to? <laughs> You're going to be like, what? No, no, I'm going to get this. Hold on. It's not like, a, like an obscure pick. Talent. What I mean by talent, read the defense. Arm strength, accuracy, you know, quarterback play, um, you know, like 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 an awareness, pocket presence. I know you're weird. So I'm trying to think of somebody that's like famous, but it's I not it's not that far fetched. You know who he is. It's not far fetched. You not don't say Eli Manning. Hell no, because you like Eli Manning. Or oh, underrated, yes. I, that really wasn't really my guess. That was like my come on. I hope it's not. No, he's underrated, Eli. But no, go. He's not in the conversation. Please send him a two. All right, Hallant. Hmm. Not who I can take on a team. Not who can play the position. Just talent. A robo quarterback. That's unbelievable. What RG three? Hell no. Oh. Dan Reno. Dan Marino, I was going to say before. Yeah, okay. Right, I was going to say, he was going to be my, he he was was gonna be my example of no championships, yet 
in the talk for greatest of all time. Well, Brady has how many? Six, seven, seven, yeah, something like that. Seven. Yes, seven. So that's my point. Peyton Manning has how many? Two. Yeah. I really only give him one because his defense won in the second one when he was in Denver. Whatever. But I don't look at championships. Yeah. But I do look at playoff play, ability to play in the playoff. Like, I do. Yeah, hundred percent. Like that's why I rate Eli Manning higher than most people do. He was unbelievable. Under pressure in the playoffs, he made plays. People don't want to look Eli Manning like that. And I don't care what anybody says. Eli Manning was drafted in 2003. Big Ben, Philip Rivers, same year, right? People love Big Ben. They talk about Big Ben like he's the greatest quarterback ever lived. They talk about Philip Rivers. And I like Philip Rivers and Roethlisberger, who's still playing somehow. On paper. On paper, that's the thing. Because it matters. Philip Rivers is ridiculous on paper. Unbelievable, but on paper. Never won a thing in his life. But no, 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 forget this, like, just on paper. If you told me right now, yeah. if I could have Rivers' resume, Roethlisberger's resume, or Manning's resume, I'm taking Eli Manning's resume, period. End of story. If you told me right now, right, back in 2003, oh, we're drafting Eli Manning, and you, you told me, okay, I could talk to myself in 2021 and say, okay, well, what did he do when he retired? Two Super Bowls. Two Super Bowl MVPs, top 10 statistical categories, passing yards, touchdowns. Why would I not take him? Who? Eli Manning. That's his resume. No, forget. I get the egregious, stupid interceptions. I'm not arguing that. Resume. If you're a fan of a team, right, you don't really root for a team. But if you had to, and they said, you have one of three quarterbacks. One quarterback gets you one Super Bowl, ton of yards. Other quarterback gets you most yards, most touchdowns, no Super Bowls. Or you would take the guy, top 10 Super Bowls, uh, not Super Bowls, top 10 touchdown passes, top 10 uh, passing yards, two Super Bowls, two MVPs. Who are you taking? That guy. And as much as Eli got, like, bullshit credit, like, as far as, like, he's not very good, whatever. He started the most consecutive games out of anybody. Won two Super Bowls, got you two championships. I'm signing up for that every day. And people can say what they want to. Those two years, he was lights out. Lights out. <laughs> he beat the 18-0 Patriots, who were literally one game away from being the greatest team ever. Beat them. Tell them catch, say what you want to. Paper. So the funny, the funny thing is, is that he has, he's almost, from, from the description you just gave, almost parallel to his brother. I do think there's a parallel. But there's no parallel to me. Peyton is more talented than Correct. Eli. Who had a better career, though? Peyton. How? He has more records. Same amount of Super Bowls. Okay. Same amount of MVPs? No. How many? Eli Manning has Super Bowl MVPs, too. Eli, Peyton Manning has one. Peyton has, has Super two. Super Bowl MVP, okay. Peyton has two rings, but the, the defense carried them to the second one. Come on, you know. It's not for debate. Peyton is more talented than Eli. I am not debating yeah, that. Right. That's Who right. had a better career, though? Career. Did Peyton? Yeah. Is it that much of a difference? No. That's my argument. I'm not arguing that Eli's better than Peyton. Fuck no. That's... When you look at their careers on paper, there's not that much of a difference. I've been Googling, bro. Like... On paper, and I'll put it because I know you can Google this in this prior up. Statistically, Eli, though, he hasn't come close, right? Eli, come on. On paper, you don't want to look that up. I do. Eli versus Peyton. I put Elvis. You're better off. Elvis Manning. Because I think people really don't get it. Eli versus Peyton career. I think it's different, too. I'm going to tell you why. I watched Eli Manning. So he was going to be under more scrutiny. I mean, Peyton got drafted in 98, Eli in 03. There's not that much of a difference. No, no, you let me finish. Okay. I watched Eli Manning because he's a giant. Therefore, we watched every game closely. I did. So he was under more scrutiny with me. Peyton played for the Colts and the Broncos. So I didn't watch him like I watched Eli. So you only see Peyton's highlights compared to Eli's positives and negatives. 
You understand what I'm saying? I think Eli gets a lot more. Think about what I just said. It holds weight. I agree. No, no argument. I do agree with you. Yeah. You know, I didn't see all Peyton's intersections live. I saw Eli's. Maybe that makes a difference. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Okay. It says, both have won Super Bowls. Both careers will be in the Hall of Fame. A lot of people talk about Eli as he's borderline Hall of Fame. I disagree. He is a Hall of Famer. Like, there's no argument to me. Do you disagree with that? Do you think Eli Manning is a Hall of Fame quarterback? Yeah, I feel like I would throw too much of my own bias in there, so I don't, I don't know. On paper, what he did, whole nine yards. What would make him not a Hall of Famer? There's no argument. Because when the careers are all said and done, there are arguments that Eli actually had a better career than Peyton. Not saying it's true, just saying there are arguments. Yeah, because he has two Super Bowls and one against a great team. That's the only thing. Okay. But he probably got sacked way more. You know, he doesn't control an offense like he did. You know, he didn't have that flash to win. I am not arguing. I, I, well, that's want, what I'm saying. I, okay, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Yeah, I know. Was Peyton Manning a better quarterback than Eli Manning? Yes. A thousand percent. <laughs> yes! But therefore he had a better career too, though. I think it's how you play the game. Not the same argument, though. Who's the greatest quarterback of all time? You said Brady. Yeah. Is Brady... Well, Brady played for four years at this point. Don't even count. Yeah. I mean, you can't even... That's why you can't even compare to Tom Brady. There's nobody even close to him at this point. Who is the winningest quarterback overall record in the history of the NFL? Not Super Bowl rings. Winningest. I think it's Tom Brady, isn't it? Peyton Manning. Yeah, huh? Nice. That's what I'm, people forget. Even when the, I just assume Tom Brady, he's playing longer. Percentage. Oh. Okay. Winning is percentage wise. All right. This is what people seem to forget about Peyton Manning. Even the years that Brady was winning Super Bowls, <laughs> the Colts were fourteen and two every year. Yeah. <laughs> every year, bro. Peyton, I love Peyton Manning. But he he's, couldn't beat Brady. The one year they won the Super Bowl, I don't know if you remember this. They were losing in the fourth quarter, like 21 to like three, and they came back. You know who's really winning touchdown? You're gonna love this. Come on, Colts. Who's going to win touchdown? What, Adrian James? The other one. Um, you love this guy. I know. I can't think of his name. I'm shot. Oh, forget it. When I say this, you go, oh. No, I have. I'm no. Think about it. I Colts know. players. I can't. I see him. He only fucking went in one direction. Joseph Adai. Joseph Adai. Yeah. When he does him. That's my point. Like, people automatically, oh, Brady, Brady, Brady. Like, I just thought that this year, bro. Most, I watch the Bucks closely. Very closely. I like to watch that team. The, what the guy does is just... Okay, but here, here's the thing. Most Pro Bowl appearances. Wait, so... See, this is exactly, this is my whole point right here, it what I'm about to say. Yeah. It's how you play. When yeah. somebody drops a ball somewhere that is insanely put, that means something to me. Then Marino was better than Brady. Phenomenal. I don't know about that. Come on. Howling? Listen, Brady is a, is a sick you ever watch it? Like, you ever just Yes. Pull? Yeah. Listen, Dan Marino is a, was a freak. He didn't clear. He didn't play as long. Dan Marino had decent receivers, bro. What Brady has Terrible right now? Receivers. Well, the, Brady's uh, never had good no, receivers. One, no, but at one point, Dan Marino had those brothers or something, right? The, who were they? The Flamingos? Who were they? Who were they? Who were the brothers? I, there's the only person I remember who called Irving that. Fryer. Yes. Yeah, I know, but there was they had brothers. That they didn't were, matter. They weren't better than anybody that Peyton Manning ever. No, but had. they were. They were decent. I said decent. Yeah. Yeah, that's what well, I'm saying. The only thing he had is two, these two brothers. I forget. Come on, what are their names? Well, I gotta. All that matters is Irving Fryer. If my phone worked, it would be awesome. All that matters is Irving Fryer. So, Dan Marino, I feel like under other circumstances, he, the poor guy could have won Super Bowls. But he literally had no team. Who's had the most Pro Bowl appearances? Peyton Manning. Right? How about this one? Manning versus Eli. Pro Bowl appearances. Peyton Manning. Do you understand the discrepancy in numbers, though? What, 10 to 2? 12 to 3. Yeah, because Peyton, Eli Manning sucks. He didn't, though. He, no, he didn't. Come on. 
He's a, he was, come on. Number of, one, number of MVPs ever. Most? Regular season, yeah. I'm going to play devil's advocate right now. Because you're, you're, you're just throwing greed. What do you mean I'm throwing greed? I just answered Peyton Manning twice. Okay. What do you mean? But I'm giving you numbers, statistics. Yes, I said that on purpose. Number of MVPs in a career. As a quarterback. Anybody. In general. Who's had the most? Hmm. There's a record. Probably like Terry Bradshaw. Peyton Manning. Four. He also has a comeback player of the year. Because remember what I said. Brady's the GOAT. Most talented player ever is Peyton Manning to me. Yeah. We agree on that. How about this one? Peyton Manning had 49 game-winning drives in his career in 15 seasons. Eli Manning. Oh, the Marx brothers, weren't they? Mark Clayton. Carl and Groucho? Yeah. Hey, Shane. This is your life, Shane. I do remember Mark Clayton. Yeah. Who's the other one? I remember Mark Clayton. Is there Michael Clayton? I don't know. It doesn't say. It just says Mark Clayton, so the other one maybe wasn't that good. But I remember he had something going on there. That was like it. Him and Irving Fryer, who caught everything. Eli Manning paid nine NFL seasons and had... I'm looking at actual numbers. 24 fourth quarter comebacks. I watch the Giants play every week. I think that Giants fans significantly undervalued. I watched Daniel Jones. <laughs> like, how good Eli actually was. In nine seasons, Eli Manning had 24 comebacks. Peyton Manning had 38 and 15. Ridiculous. Eh. What that means is Eli had three per season to Peyton Manning's two. I watched Eli play. One thing Eli had was he was a tough son of a gun. That's what I loved about him. Loved that about him. better than people think. He got beat up. How many good teams did Eli Manning play on? <laughs> Legitimately speaking. How, whoa. Nice. How many good football... Chip, this isn't funny. Will you stop it? Legitimately, though, how many good teams did Eli play on? Not many. He I don't like, think he played on any. He had a decent defense, though, too, didn't he? For a little bit. A couple years. Yeah. They won a Super Bowl. It's arguable that the defense is what won them because they they got the Brady. No? That's what everybody says. Okay, well, you could, if you say that, then Peyton Manning or, or Tom Brady's first, like, three Super Bowls are, like, don't even count. When they beat the Rams, they it was literally a defensive game. Like, their game plan was to beat the shit out of Marshall, Falk, and Isaac Bruce, and Torrey Hall. Yeah, sure. And they did, and they won. And they cheated. But the thing is, is that Tom Brady won four more after that. Actually, five. Five. So you can't just say that. Like, I don't think lies. there's a debate. Yeah, well, that's all. Tom Brady is the GOAT. Yes. I just don't think it's cut and dry. Yeah, no, it is. Eli is... Uh... <laughs> so, back to my original... You're not even talking about Joe Montana, dude. Who has how many? Three? How many rings does Joe Montana have? Oh, no, he's got five. Right? How many rings does Joe Montana have? I'm at five. I remember the commercial. He's got them all in his hand, right? Right? It's five. I thought it was four. Could be four. I thought, it, I don't know. All right, now I gotta look it up because you just messed, you confused me. Joe Montana. They typed in Frank Caliendo. There you go. Can't I finish? Joe Montana had four. Four. Four times. Which is the second of all time. Why is he not number two? Three time Super Bowl MVP. Two time NFL MVP. Well, I know people personally that put Joe Montana at number one. I mean, all the lists don't have him. I right? think it's debatable. I agree. Yeah. I can see it, definitely. Me we didn't get to watch him play. Exactly. We, we like, didn't watch him no. firsthand play enough. But, I mean. Okay, I'll give you this then. Who is the greatest football player of all time? Football. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Greatest football player of all time. Yes. That's hard to answer. How do you answer that? I, gotta be I do have an answer. On both sides of the ball? Yes. To me, there's one player who is head and shoulders above everybody, his peers, numbers-wise, 
career-wise, what he did. There's one player. Oh. Jerry Rice. He's still, till this day, he retired in like 2001, which is insane because he won Super Bowl in 86 or 85. There's no other player that is in every top 10 statistical category in his position with his production for that long. Now, there's there's never going to be like a, like a, okay, clear cut this, because you can argue any player, in his, but to me, Jerry Rice, yes. All right, I got to say this. It just dawned on me. It's so hard to give that. Agreed. Because here's why. Offensive lineman. It's a, right. It's a team sport. Yes. I it's agree. not like you're picking who's the best tennis player of all time. It's one on one. You're responsible for every action you make on that court. Listen, I agree. Right? There's so it's hard. Like, yeah, I could see Jerry Rice. So then why is Jordan the GOAT so easily? Yeah, exactly. I And that's in, in every respect. I don't agree with Jordan being the GOAT. No? No, unpopular opinion. Do I think he is the GOAT? Yes. Do I think it's just everybody's just like Michael Jordan is Overwhelming? this? Overwhelming? No. Maybe, no! Maybe yeah, yeah. No! No. Come on, Gil. Oh, forget it. Him? Travis Kilfi. Let me think of Travis Kilfi. <laughs> yes. But I don't think it's like this like cut and dry thing. But for me, if I had to pick a most valuable player, because that's what, like, you know, greatest MVP, Jerry Rice. Like, when you look at wide receivers and the top 10 statistical categories, he is in the top five in every category. Look at Brady. The guy breaks a new record every week. It's becoming an argument. He's stupid. Brady's the GOAT. I'm just quarterback, top spot, Brady, take him. So when he when it's all said and done, see, Brady's career is not over yet. But when I think it's all said and done, there's an argument, and I think Brady probably gets the argument because most touchdown passes – most passing yards, most, like, Super Bowls. Like, it's hard to debate this shit at this point. And then the one knock that people had against Brady was that it was Belichick, and then he left and won it. So See, I never held that against him because that a shouldn't be a... Did. I know, they did, though, but yeah. I didn't because that shouldn't be a knock. That should be a, a plus. That's how I see it. You know how people are. Like, if that's the case, then people, then people should try to mimic that and... Have that relationship with your coach. You know what I'm saying? No, no, not everybody's best. There's people that think Phil Jackson is the most important in basketball. Ever. Yeah, come on. It's hard to say. No, you can't do that. You can't. That's my that. point. Yeah. But a lot of people, well, you know, Belichick won without Brady. I mean, look at him now. Mac Jones is lighting it up, and you like yeah, Mac Jones? I, bro, I love that team, bro. He's a boy. No argument. But you, the, like Brady, they cover wanted... so much too. I love them. I, well, love I, don't cut, but I love when teams cover. Brady won a Super Bowl with Jameis Winston's team. Like, you just took Jameis Winston and you put Tom Brady on a team in a Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, legit. And you brought in AB, Antonio Brown. So, and Gronk. Yeah, and Gronk was literally just like watching And I tell you what, it, it took you to say Leonard Fournette stinks to have him have a good year. He still stinks. <laughs> but he doesn't. Come on. Horrible. When he When you said it, I agreed. But this guy, he must have ate his spinach, bro. He's talented. You what, can't, what happened? You can't tackle the guy. You never could. No, you could. You could. He was weak. Okay. I'll put it this way. He was actually weak. He fumbled. Now, the ball stuck to him and he can't bring him down. I'll put it this way. He did step his game up. I'll put right? it Right? He did. I thought Fournette was overrated. I get you. I was with you. I didn't. Well, I can't say he's trash. When you talk about trash, I'm like, Jared Goff is trash. Oh, no, I hate that poor guy. <laughs> I was laughing. Michael Vick was last week was basically talking to me. He goes, Jared Goff, he's going to be a backup next year. <laughs> and, and then, who was it? Dave Wanstatt looked at him and goes, you, so you think he's going to be a backup, huh? He said, yeah. But he's right. You probably don't remember he's this. He's going to be a backup this year. When the Rams went to the Super Bowl with Jared Goff at quarterback, I said he was trash. Like, yeah. he's not good. Yeah, he's not really that good. But I will. I, I actually didn't like Todd Gurley that much. Everybody yeah. else No. Yeah. No, he was good. He also got hurt, and He got hurt, and that was the end of him. That's why I don't want to put, like... Melvin Gordon, the same type, same type of guy. Talented, but just can't get out of their own way. I don't get yeah, that. I don't know. Gordon Gordon could play. I'm, yeah, right. very talented, but what happens? The, but to me, like, there's certain, like, okay, I'll give you a, a player who's massively underrated, even though he's considered the best. Barry Sanders. No, come on. He's the best of all time. <laughs> See? Best like, of all time. You just said it. Like, as good as people think he is, he's better than that. Yeah. Like, 
go back and watch the tape. Yeah. And now that I'm older, like I played college ball, I kind of understand like X's and O's. What Barry Sanders did. <laughs> was Troy Aikman the other day on TV, he was call he was count uh, calling a game. I forget what game it was. And he said, "Wow, let me tell you, that was the best three yard run I've ever seen in my life." I'm talking about some running back, and he said. In fact, Joe, you know who had the best one-yard run? Barry Sanders. He did something on a one-yard run. He must have went sideways, whatever, and he got a yard for the first time. People down. don't get it. He didn't even have, he had nothing. He didn't even have a line. Holy shit, that's good. Good? No, it's not. Wow. Yeah, yeah get Barry it Sanders. Get it. No, what is it? No, it's, it's told the camera. No, no, it's, it's good. All right. People don't understand how good he was. Yeah. They don't get it. Like, And then he quits. I don't want to be that person that's like, oh, well, you know, like, you don't understand the game. I'm not saying that, but... From like an X's and O's standpoint, it's very impossible to do what Barry Sanders did. Like, there's only a handful of players who have run for more than 10,000 yards in NFL history. Like, just number standpoint. Of those players, he's one of like two who did it on teams who didn't win. You get what I'm saying? Like, Emmett Smith. Yeah, from Marshall here. Falk. They all had Jerome Bettis. You can go down the line. All these players had teams that were good. His teams were trash. What about OJ? He didn't play long enough. But OJ, his teams weren't that good. The, the Bills, Bills were okay in those, but he didn't play long enough to have, like Eric Dickerson had a monster year, and he's a Hall of Famer. But Barry Sanders, Jim Brown's in this conversation as well too. But Barry Sanders did it like. For like a 10, 12 year span on a team that never won. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just want to jump out here. Like, it doesn't make sense. We're Felzy. Well, you. <laughs> what Barry Sanders did. Best running back in the league right now. Now? Yep. Yeah. Derrick Henry. Yes. No, 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 fucking contest. What he does is impossible. Who's the biggest shock of the year? Of this year? This year. Wait, you're talking running back or just. Running back. Wow. I can't even say he's a, Yeah, he, I guess you would consider him a shot. Or somebody maybe who was here, boom. This is tough because there's a couple. But there I'll, are a few. I'll tell you mine when you're done. You know who I really like and you probably didn't You're going to say it. it. You're going to say my guy. No, Don't not. say it. Mm -hmm. ah. You're not thinking of this. There's you, no way. There's no way. I'm thinking of it. No I one, can't believe you thought of my guy. He's not even the starter. No, of course he's not. How can you thought of my guy? No, no way. No way. You're not thinking of this. You're Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't this. say it. You know who sucks? Stop. <laughs> they all do, but... No. Don't. Don't. Don't say Darrell Williams. Mm -mm. The Dallas is back up. Bro! He is a beast! He's better than Zeke. Okay, there's three. He was one of them. He's 100 times better than Zeke. He's really good. Bro, he is a beast. You can't tackle that guy. And he's faster than Zeke. Why are they... Well, how come he doesn't start? Oh. Alright, so he's one of the three. There's three guys that is in that category. He's one. But he's not mine. Really? Yeah. On a winning team? Yeah. Or just like... Yeah, he's on a winning team. Alright, it can't be the Cardinals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got right it. The back. I forget his name, but not... Connor. The, the guy who had, he had cancer, right? Yes. I keep saying John Connor because I watched Connor. Terminator. It is. I thought it was James. No, it's John. Uh, it's James. What's his name? I think it's James Connor. I don't think he has a first name. He has the and, and, and no one's gonna say that though. You know what? Don't. <laughs> no, because he has absolutely no wiggle. No. And you like that. I don't. Bro, he's a wide receiver. Runs everybody over. That's quarter all power. He has two touchdowns a game. Yeah, him too. Him too. James Connor runs that way. Yeah. And I know you like those kind of I don't. I don't. You do. Come on, he's a that guy's great. Make someone miss. He does. No, he runs through them. He does that too. <laughs> I've never seen him like. He's. I think he leads the league in touchdowns. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. And he didn't even start him the first uh, couple of games. He was right. starting Edmonds, whatever his name. The Dallas Cowboys are the only team whose backups are better than their starters. Yeah. yeah. No, they yeah. really are. I know. The Cowboys. Who's this kid Wilson? That receiver. He's incredible. Cedric Wilson. Gallup too. Gallup is awesome. <laughs> But they always throw to Amari Cooper and the other guys. See, the man, which they're good. No. But these two guys. The Cowboys' backups are, are like. 100 times better than their main guy. Yeah. Every time I turn the fucking game on, 
Gallup is making some one-handed catches. <laughs> Forget it. And Wilson had caught a 65-yard pass. And then the running back too. Yeah, Pollard. Wait, Pollard. They they give Zeke the ball six times. Yeah, he runs. He gets nine yards. And then Pollard close. gets it once. Runs for 42 yards. But that's not even an exaggeration. Yeah, I know. Who's the most overrated player in the NFL? That's a tough one. I already have my name. And it pains me. It does. I'm going to have to say Barkley. That's mine? Yeah. And it stinks because I, I want to like the kid so much because he's good. He's incredibly talented. But how come he can't go anywhere? He sucks. What happened to him? It's awful. He got hurt. Because his first year, he was a, no, his first year, he was a beast. There's a problem with Barkley. They don't know how to use him right. I'm going to tell you this, and it's going to Well, be... the Giants never had an offensive coordinator a day in their life. No, a team. Well, they don't have a team either. Offensive coordinator. They don't have an They offense. have two plays. They have two plays. They need 15 yards for a first down. They're going to screen. <laughs> and a draw. And a draw. That's it. Exactly. Or Daniel Jones muffs the punt, uh, the Stop. hike, and he runs for like Stop. nine yards. I'm a Giants fan. It pains I know. I, I get it. And I think Saquon Barkley's overrated right now. Here's the problem. In a year when they cut him, yeah, he's gonna be awesome on like the Steelers. He's gonna break him and the G Harris are gonna have break records. That, and he's a beast. Yeah, he is. Well, <sighs> a lot of good running backs right now. Yeah, no crazy time, crazy time. I mean, it's hard to say because the quarterbacks suck right now. There's no good quarterbacks, but you like them all. No, I don't like them. You had a top ten, and you left. You asked me, but you left Lamar Jackson. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about him because he has the flu every other week. Lamar Jackson's having a horrible year. I said, Lamar somebody, Jackson somebody is somebody the put only guy that gets sick every other week. Someone put in the comments, like, "Yo, you left Lamar." I was like, "No." Uh, to me, I didn't. He's been terrible this year. Yeah, he has not been good. You hate Derek Carr, and I love him. But other than that, we were pretty much Derek the same. Derek Carr is miserable. The Raiders are terrible. Yes, well, they were good when they had. Henry Ruggs. They weren't good, though. They were. Come on. They had a good year with Henry Ruggs. They got the second, third best tight end in the league. They, can't, they don't know how to use the guy. Waller? Yeah. So wait, who's better than Waller? Hunter Renfro. Yeah, on the other side, they got two phenomenal no, tight ends. No, said third best tight end. Oh, well, you got Kelsey and you got uh, Kittle. You think that like, Waller's three? Oh, Waller's three. And I tell you what, he's a close three because you know I like Gasicki. No. There's a, yo, this is, let me tell you something. There's never been a time in the NFL where tight ends were unbelievable. I give you ten tight ends that are phenomenal right now. I mean, always. Ten? Yeah. You always have like three, no, four. No, I'll give there's... you ten off the bat. Okay, good. All right. You, you, I, bet, but I, I start, love this. I love tight when ends. I, when I start naming players, you're going to say they suck. So go ahead. No, I'm going to agree with you. What, from then or now? Oh, uh, uh, no. At, but, at what point in the league what, weren't there not good consistent? Season? Okay, right now you got Kittle, you got Kelsey, you got Waller. You got every team has a great tenant. How can you say there's Some have two. You got Gesicki. You got... How oh, about this guy, Dutch Schultz from the tight, from the Cowboys? The mobster? Yeah, I don't know his real name. Whatever his name is. <laughs> this guy came out of left field. <laughs> that guy catches an 11 yard pass. But you said Dutch Schultz? Dutch Schultz. He's doing Dutch this. Schultz is a guy with he's fucking drugs on his Arthur side. Arthur Fleckenheimer. That's right. But Lucky Luch. Yes. No. Dutch Schultz and. Uh, so you got you got that. You got. Um, what about. Uh, what about this guy? Oh, um, no. Uh, Njoku. Njoku. David Njoku, good. Awesome. Yeah, good play. You got uh, you I'm got your fat. So you're, you're gonna laugh. Wait, I'm forgetting one. Mark Andrews, good player. He might be Ravens. top five. Top five. Ravens good. He's good. Phenomenal. He's a baller. Um, I'm missing somebody big. Gronkowski. Okay, Gronkowski. Right. Well, they have like four. They got Bray, Gronkowski, Miller. You uh, said Kelsey, right? Said Kelsey. Mm. Well, the Cowboys guy. Yeah, Dutch Schultz. You did say. They did say him. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, that's all. What's Zach Ertz? Oh, Zach Ertz, awesome. They don't throw to him. No. Just throw to the guy. He didn't want to be there anymore. He doesn't, no. He just got there. Yeah. Um, this this guy, um... Giants have a good tight end, too, actually. Higby? Tyler Higby? Tyler Higby's good. I'm telling you, they're... What about the guy from Buffalo? Oh, forget it, that guy's the best of all! <laughs> Knox. Dawson Knox? <laughs> that guy catches a touchdown every game. Dawson Knox runs a 4-3? No, forget <laughs> he, it. Faster like, than any running like back. He's like 6-8, 402 yeah. pounds. <laughs> they don't give him the How ball. How does he move? He runs a... Uh, but they don't give him the ball. Mm. All I do is throw it to Diggs. He, let me tell you something. He'll catch a four-yard touchdown every game. Also, I think his total yards this year are 50 with nine touchdowns. Every NFL team right now has a five foot eight, 102 102-pound receiver who's, like, unreal. Forget it. Every fucking team. Every team. I never – it's a weird time. But yeah. you can't say 10 years ago it wasn't like that. Come on, with the abundance of tight – where did these tight ends come from? Come on, think about it. Go ahead. Go back 10 years ago. Go ahead. Jimmy Grimm. 
Still playing. I mean, but back then he was elite. Okay, Jimmy Graham. He's not anymore. Jimmy Graham. Right? Yeah. Gronkowski. The, the dead guy. Who's this? The other tight end for the Patriots. Oh, yeah, Aaron Hernandez, yeah. He was pretty good, wasn't he? Yeah, he was very good. Um, was it, Wait, what was the other? The, 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 he still plays, too. Fast as shit. Oh, I forgot. TJ Hawkinson, bro. For the Lions? Beast! He's the only guy in the Lions right now that plays. What was the tight end that was super fast? I'm, I didn't want to move on yet because I'm forgetting his name. Yeah, all right. Um, which team? It was in the Titans or like, god damn, Rams maybe? Doesn't matter. That guy? Um, I said wrong. I said Jimmy Graham. Who was the guy for the Packers? He was also really good. The Giants tight end was really, I can't remember these oh, people. Oh, uh, well, he was a wide well, no, well receiver. What was his name? It didn't matter. He was a tight end. That's what I'm saying. What, Heath Miller? <laughs> like, um, remember Heath Miller? Heath Miller, yeah. Phenomenal. That's what, just, just keep going down the line. Every elite team had a tight end who was a bowler. Like, all of them. What's his name? Uh, Witten? Jason. Jason Witten was a beast. I don't know. Right now, you have a lot of elite tight ends. Every, the tight ends are always, my point Jared is. Jared Cook. That was the one I'm talking about. Jared That's what I'm Cook. talking about. He's still playing. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. He was on the Rams when he ran back then? Oh, what about this guy, Kyle Pitts? Well, Pitts, Florida. And he's a rookie. Florida's a baller. He's in the Falcons. Yeah. Man, no, even at Florida. Florida's the worst team I've ever seen, but Pitts carried them. A tight end carried them last year. Fact. Evan Ingram? Sucks. Mason Rudolph? That's what, No, not Mason he's Rudolph. Kyle Rudolph, I'm sorry. Kyle Rudolph. Also sucks. Old. Tyler Eifert? Eifert, he's old. He's still playing. But I'm talking back then. Um, what's his name? The the Vikings have a good... Um, My point is... What's his name? There's uh, always been good tight ends in the league. Yeah, but I've I've never seen so many now. And Leo Gates. Yeah, God rest. Isn't he dead? No. No? Vincent no, right. Jackson is dead. God rest. Vincent Jackson. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That was a... <laughs> Fucking Lion King? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Antonio Gates. Like, these guys changed. Kellen Winslow was back then. He's in jail. He did bad things, so I don't want to read that. I would say what he did. He did some bad stuff. Kellen Winslow, you know what he did? I don't know what he did. He, uh, no, nah, let's say. Bad, bad, hey, bad. No good. You can you look, look, anybody, Kellen, you can look at Kellen Winslow, who I loved. Jeremy Shockey. Yes. You think, what, you think he was trash? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't think he was trash. Yeah. Where'd he go? In two years. In the Bowl. Yeah. That's all that matters. Not through his doing. Okay, what player did you win through their doing? Other than the 2000 Ravens, who actually didn't have a quarterback, but still won. Which are still Joe the... Flacco. 2000. Oh. Hmm. When did he win it? What was that, 20... 2010? Something around there. The, the Niners, Kaepernick, maybe. And the power went out in the Super Bowl. Maybe a little after that, yeah. No. The, still the most fluky team you've ever seen in your life. The Baltimore Ravens of 2000 were literally the greatest defense you'll ever see in your life, and somehow they were so good they won a Super Bowl. People don't get it. That team gave up seven points a game. Seven! Who was their quarterback? Trent Dilfer. Wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. People forget that defense, bro. They had Ray Lewis, and they had the two fat fucks in front of him. Remember him? Well, Terrell Suggs was on the team, wasn't he? No. He wasn't even there yet? Sizzle wasn't there yet. Ed Reed wasn't there yet. No. I, when, I start, when I named the 2000 Ravens, you're like, wow. Remember Peter Bulwer? Bulwer. If you were, <laughs> if you had Ware in your name, you were awesome. Well, yeah, well Andre Ware? Forget it. <laughs> the Marcus Ware? Well, Chris Collins, the corner of Chris Collins. The Marcus Ware was a guy. <laughs> the 2000 Ravens were still the craziest team in the history of football for me. They won without an offense. They had no offense. Name a player on the 2000 Ravens. I can name one. I don't know. I can name you one. Who Literally. was their running back? He went to jail. That wasn't Ray he Rice. Was, he was a rookie, huh? He was a rookie. When I say this name, you're like, wow. Who is it? <laughs> you, I get Because I know it. Oh, you love it. I this know. Guy. Who is it? Okay, I'm going to put it this way. The 2000 Ravens had a rookie running back that year. He got picked fifth overall in the draft out of the University of Tennessee. He was the running back. Jamal Lewis. 
Oh, wow. He was awesome. <laughs> but not that year. You know who their tight tight end was? Shannon Sharp. Wow. <laughs> that team. They had Trent Dilfer at quarter. They were good, though. No. Their defense was. Their defense was un... You could have thrown to Shannon Sharp. You would have connected. You were right. They played the Giants Super Bowl. That's how I remember. They beat him 34-7 to in the Super Bowl. Their team's defense set a league record for fewest points allowed in a 16-game season. They gave up 10 points a game. In the NFL. You understand? Like, people don't understand. That team was a joke. Was an absolute joke. Like... <laughs> They were winning games like like six three, like ten eight, like stupid stuff. And when you look back at their, remember Jamie Sharper? Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna start I all. Remember of them. Darren Sharper? Who's Darren Sharper? You don't know. Is he a murderer? Worse. Rapist? Yeah. Darren Sharper's in jail for like fifty years, bro. Wow. He like like I hate to say this like you know I like but he he date raped like women in like five different states like what? Yeah, he like drugged and raped women. Fucking Darren Sharper, no joke. When I start naming off these players, bro, <laughs> get this shit. First of all, their final roster. Look at this this team's. Okay, running backs: Priest, Holmes, and Jamal Lewis. Forget it, it's over. <laughs> they were awesome. Quarterbacks: Trent Dilfer and Tony Banks. Ooh. Remember Tony Banks? Tony Banks! Oh my Wide god. Wide receivers, Quadri Ishmael, no. Jermaine Lewis, Brandon Stokely, oh. Ben Coates, what? Shannon Sharp. The team. No joke. Alright, now look at this defense. I don't know if you remember these guys. Ray Lewis had two guys in front of him that were combined 600 pounds. Sam Adams. Remember Sam Adams? Good beer. He was 400 pounds. And Tony Saragusa. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had Rob Burnett. Michael McCrary, Adelius Thomas, Jamie Sharper, I said Peter Buller, they had uh, Chris McAllister, you, I, Dwayne Starks, Rod Woodson. And Rod Woodson? <laughs> yeah. They gave him 10 points! Seriously. This is their, this is, this is their, literally, their first win, 16-0, 37-0, 12-0, 15-10, 10-3, 14-6, 9-6, 9-7. And then in the playoffs. So they had the least points allowed and the Ever. least scored, too. Yeah. They had Trent Dilfer, who was the second worst in my lifetime Super Bowl winning quarterback I've ever seen. First is, I don't know if you remember this guy. Remember Brad Johnson? Both Buccaneers. When they had uh, Warwick Dunn. Warwick Dunn, Derek Brooks, John Lynch. Sapp. Warren Sapp. Mike Allstott. He was terrible. But... Trent Dilfer was up there. I don't think he threw a pass in the Super Bowl. But yes, they had a bunch of veterans, Shannon Sharp, guys like that. So, Trent Dilfer has a Super Bowl, and Dan Marino does not. Who better? Exactly. There was a point to this. We started with music. Yeah, because you think Jay Z is as good as Lewin. He is. So, albums to me are Super Bowls. You can have so many great albums. That's great. You can have a lot how many of great albums does Lil Wayne have? How many great? How many? Lil they Wayne... say he's got like three good ones, right? Okay, but you are a fan of him, so how can you say he's better than him without saying he has good albums? Because I don't go by that. But how many Lil Wayne albums do you like? None. <laughs> no, that's pretty fucked. How many Jay Z albums do you like? None. Really? I don't know. I couldn't tell you his albums. Yes, you can. I don't know what song is on what album. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Really? You never heard the Blueprint? What what songs are on the blueprint? You think I'm kidding? I do the track listing. The blueprint. I think the blueprint is his best, if I remember correctly. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. What you, you want the track listing? Give me a couple of songs. All right, number two. It's because the first one's an intro. Takeover. Remember that song? Yes, you do. I gotta hear it. R O C, we run in this rat. You remember that song? Izzo, there's three. Four, girls, girls, girls. Yeah. Five, Jigga that N word. Mm -hmm. Number seven, Ola Ovito. Number eight, Heart of the City. Number nine, Never Change. Number ten, Song Cry. Number twelve, Renegade. Yeah. 
That's that's probably his best album. All right. Well, as a person who listens to albums, Jay Z has five albums that I can play from start to finish. Lil Wayne has three, and really two and a half. But I'll give you three. Carter one, two, and three. Carter one is unbelievable. Carter two is unbelievable. Carter three is to me a little better than average. The rest of his albums are mid. Jay Z has the Blueprint one. He has the Black album. He has Reasonable Doubt. He has um, In My Lifetime Volume 2, In My Lifetime Volume 1. What's Jay-Z's best song ever? Wow, that's tough. What do you mean my best song? Exactly. Because he, see, j j to me, discography, which is in there, Lil Wayne can't mess with Jay-Z. Like, he can't. You can't, like, you can go back to his first album, and there's like six classics on it, and you agree with me because you like those songs because you listened to them when we were six. Yeah. I agree with you. Right? I'm feeling it. Like, yeah. You, awesome. City is Mine is my favorite Jay-Z song. That's In My Life's in Volume 1, which isn't, to me, an elite album by Jay-Z. I agree with you. Do you see, see where I come from? I picked a song that's my favorite that's not even in his best album. But he still had four, like three or four elite songs on that album, okay. because he had the song you just named, which is 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 streets not streets is watching. Wow, city is mine. City is mine. <laughs> streets is watching is a whole other album and a movie. But he also had on that album sunshine, which was on in my lifetime volume one, which isn't his best album, but still was elite. And Wayne has that too. But Jay-Z has more, because he also has the Black Album, which came out in 2003, which has like, you know, What More Can I Say, or, uh, uh, was it an interlude, Allow Me to Reintroduce Myself, which is probably his most iconic, like, if you told like East Coast type of shit, but Wayne has more mixtape out, I will not argue that, there's no argument there, but if you're talking about ability to make albums, to make music, Jay-Z is better than Lil Wayne, period. If you want to talk about just like get on a track and start spitting wordplay, shit, Wayne's better than Jay Z. There's no argument to me. That's what I said. But that doesn't make you a better artist, right? I, I, if you remember, I said there's a difference between somebody who makes good music and a rapper. That's like saying Rafer Alston is a better player than like like you know Rich, Rip Hamilton. Rafer Alston skips my little. He's a street ball legend. Like there's a difference between being a street baller. And a person who's an artist. Jay-Z is a better artist than Lil Wayne. That's what I, my argument always was. He's a better artist than Lil Wayne. Like, Lil, Lil Wayne, Wayne's a better rapper. What do you mean by that, though? Lil, Jay-Z might make better music overall. And more music. So you think Wayne that, like, if rapper. you just said, who has more musical talent? Jay-Z isn't as good as Lil Wayne. And that's what you're saying. Like, no, just... Rapping. Musical, like, ability to just, like, get on a track and just, just, like, spit rhymes. Yes. I say Lil Wayne. But I think Jay-Z makes better music, makes better albums. He's more commercial. He'll do that whole game better. Jay-Z is Makes awesome. more money. But Jay-Z wasn't, com like, you, you, see, the problem, I'm telling you, there's a recency bias. Like, I feel like people forget that Jay-Z just, like, can, he actually can like, rap. Nobody ever owned Lil Wayne in a, in a battle. Lil Wayne never battled. I, I, I knew this was going to come up. Lil Wayne never battled anybody. Yeah. Who? Did he ever battle? Nobody. That's my point. Yeah, he never nobody actually, was ever going to come after him. But he had no reason to. He minded his own business. Jay Z was in the thick of like that New York shit in an era where it was about battling people. And, and also, Jay Z went at one of, to me, the best talented rappers of all time, which is Nas. Nas is a better rapper than Lil Wayne. Nas is a better rapper than Jay-Z. Artist, different story. Nas is better than Lil Wayne. And I know that every single person that was born in the year 2000, y'all didn't listen to Nas. Like, stop. Like, Nas is a rapper. There's a difference to me. You know, like, there's a huge difference to me. And I love Lil Wayne, but ability to just get on a track and just rap, like, 50 Cent is a great artist, but he's not a good one. Exactly. But Jay-Z was both to me. Like, he had lines. Yeah, he's both. But Jay-Z was too smart for a lot of people. He said shit that people... Like, Lil Wayne might have said, like, G's move in silence like lasagna. Don't mind. But it's not, like, cerebral. You understand what I'm saying? There's a difference between the two. 
Like, Wayne was a, like, if you just get somebody on a track, here's a beat. Like, Wayne took, like, five of Jay-Z's beats and, and murdered Jay in his own shit. Not an argument. But there's a difference between just being able to do that and being able to make music. Which is why you like people like Joel Santana, Cameron, people like that. Like, you might not admit this, but Cameron was absolute horseshit until he started to wear pink shirts. <laughs> like, let's keep it a buck. Horse thing carriage, whack. Awesome. That's a hit. Terrible song. It's a hit. What means the world to you? Hit. Nowhere near. Hit. And then you're gonna start going on a hit shit? It's a hit. No. Yeah. No. Big time hit. See, but you don't appreciate artists to me. To me, because you, you don't like Ludacris. You don't like No, him. I don't like Ludacris. I don't well, like Ludacris. Name a better Southern rapper than Ludacris. Young Southern. G Young Jeezy. No argument. No argument. No argument. Easy. That's no actually the easiest thing right okay, in my life. But there's not like a there's a debate there because Jeezy could, he's he can make Yeah, he, he's real. Ludacris is not real to me. If you come up with sideburns like that, first of all, sorry. Only on his first few albums. It's enough. Nah, Ludacris could rap though. Ugh. What are you crit dun 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 it? Ludacris no, it's so bad to me. It's so Who, bad. Okay, I'll give you this one. It's so bad. Who is the most underrated rapper ever? If you, in Nas. your opinion, you think Nas is underrated? Big time underrated. All right. Mm. I, no, I love Nas. Right? I, to me, Nas don't get no credit for shit. And I, I thought I like you were gonna Nas. like, not like my a, favorite. I thought you were gonna throw like a Papoose out or some shit. Oh no! All right. Well, uh, like of anybody all, of all time, it's yeah, gotta like, be Nas. To, to you, like somebody. But there's a. I think there's a ton of underrated rappers today. I agree. But, oh, so okay, many. I'll give you a list of ten right now. Okay, but to you, like ever, ever is Nas. Because wow. just because his whole his nah, whole nah, nah, nah. yeah nah nah that's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a weird name out. Weird. What? L. O. Kuzia. Yeah, I'm with you. Awesome. He made awesome music for four oh decades. For four. God. Okay, but here's the funny thing about L. O. And I'm in the I'm in, I know I'm in the minority with this one. L. O. Kuzia had a rap album. It was called Goat. It's called the greatest of all time. It came out in the 2000s. I was the only person who played that shit. Lit. The whole album was dope. What was on there? Head sprung? No, that was after that. That was like uh, I forgot what that shit was called. It was when this this was like early two thousands. I want to say like ninety nine or like two thousand two thousand one. It was called the Goat. That was the name of the album. It was called the Goat. It was lit. I'm telling. It was right on time. Any given Sunday, like right on that era. Like you know what I'm saying? Like nobody listened to it, but LL actually like Papoose is underrated though. <sighs> yep. I hate Papoose. <laughs> It's not good. I can't. What's, <laughs> remember when 50 Cent said, what's the last Cam Ross song that you like? That's how I feel about Papoose. What was the last Papoose song? Don't give me that rhyming alphabet shit. Wait, Cam, what did he say? What was the last Cam Ross? 50 Cent and Cam had beef in the yeah, early 2000s. And he had, you know how 50 years because he's a troll. He was like, what's the last Cam song that you like? <laughs> he was, he and then he goes, confused, confused, and boogity boo. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. When I thought about that, I like Cam because Cam had you know a purple haze, you know, uh, uh, confessions. You know, uh, what was that? What was it? What was that shit called? The album with, with you know, touch it or not? Doesn't matter. But the Cameron had like you know I love Cam. Like Cam is Cam is underrated to me. Cam is criminally underrated to me. Yeah. Criminally under people say Cameron sucks and they know like thirty of his songs. Think about it, from like two thousand what he had a whole and you talk about influence? I was gonna say that. Come on, he brought he made a group I agree with you. pink. Cam exactly. Cam made a whole group of people think it was cool to wear pink. Yep. Seriously. And mink coats. You know who my most underrated rapper is though? Kanye West. But is he underrated? He gets his due, no? Not this new shit. Sucks. I think Lil Uzi Vert is the most underrated. He can't rap though. He makes good music. No, I'm just kidding. He makes good music though. Uzi. Now I do what I want. But I like. Come Uzi. on, wait, boss. Exactly. I like. I uh, like. I can't give these new rappers like nah. And like, there's not that many new rappers to me that I like really fuck with. Like, who do you fuck with now? Like now, artists now, relevant artists now. Like that. Like you're like okay. Like like everything they do is just like. There is no one. That's what I'm saying. So, I can't even. Who's the last one like that? Like, 
were like, you was like, wow, this dude really like, he can make music. I'm like, you else? I don't make music, man. Like, they like really made music. Like, how long has it been? Like, it, was it Drake? Drake's probably the last one. Man. I think I Drake's think like Gunna though. You don't like Gunna? Okay, I don't dislike him, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't hear what other people hear. I, I like, like some yeah, I like stuff. beats, and he always has good beats. Yeah, I like the baby. A lot of people like the baby. You like Jack Harlow? He makes good music. You he like does. Post Malone? I love Post Malone. But yeah. He's not a rapper. What is he? Post Malone. You can't call Post Malone a rapper. Well, he ain't a singer. You can't be. Ooh, that's a rapper. Like, what is it? Post Malone. He's he's. I people ask me. I say Post Malone is genreless. Like he doesn't make rap. He's not. What rap song do you, can you say Post Malone ever made? Rockstar. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Nah. Like, I like Posty. I'm the one savage. My number one artist. Well, number one through five listened artist of twenty twenty one because Spotify does that. Post Malone is still on the list. He's been on the list for the last four years, so I can't dislike Post Malone. You know my number one artist? <laughs> I know who it is, because I'm going to tell you right now, this is the only guy that I like now. <laughs> nah, my art, no, and number, and number one listen to artist. Yeah. Of I, I, got it, I got it right now. That I listen to? I, that every, yeah, no, I, I, I have I, it here. I got the best rapper right now. Okay, so that's not the same thing as number one artist I listen to. All right, to. well, okay. the best you asked me for, who's the best rapper now that I, that I listen to everything? Mm -hmm. Future. Now? Now. Wow. He still makes music. Does he? What's the last Future song came out? Uh. <laughs> future 2017, 2016, 20... Isn't that Future? People, future ain't what he is now. He no, was... he, not what he was, but you asked me, who do we, who is still good? He's probably the last one. Okay, last to one. mention, he's been doing it for a long time. He kind of sucks, but I love Future. No, he's awesome. I love Future. Like, he, okay, but he can't rap. He doesn't have to. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I love That's why you and me, the, we, we don't see eye to eye on rap, because I don't like when, when people take it too serious. That's why I like Cameron. <laughs> but Cameron actually... Nobody's doing that. But Cameron had song structure. Kind of. He had a point. He did. His point was not really to have a point. But it did. No, he had a point. No, his point was like, don't really have a point, right? But he had a point. What? To not have a point. Nah, he really made songs with a topic, though. He said cat food fancy feast. My man said ice like Winnipeg. Yeah. Who's, who's doing that? Gemstones. Who's going to make Flintstones. Flintstones? You could say I'm friends with Fred. Like, I'm not saying he didn't just say dumb shit. He did. He did. But he no also, point. like, there's certain artists that, like, artists now, and I could be wrong. I mean, I don't listen to the right shit. You don't like Kendrick. But artists now, they don't make songs with a point. Ever. I'm not saying every song has to have a point. But, like, none of them make a song Ever with a point. Wayne did it. Jay did it. Future. Even Future did it. Which is impossible. Turn on the lights. <laughs> it had a point. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, even they did that. They have a point today. You just don't like it. Which is just to do nothing. Or just talk about the same thing. But even artists back then did it. Cars. I got an argument with, not argument, but a debate with somebody today. Because people talk about how music and times have changed. They haven't changed. Like, people forget about music and like Woodstock and shit. Like, these people were, they weren't talking about shit either. They were all high and just rapping about drugs and shit. Like, they all did drugs back then. I think the, mu the rap music changed. They don't mean music in general. No, but people say, like, music back then had a point. You had to do, like, I, I was listening to a song. how far back you go. I'm, again, I'm going back to Woodstock, 1969. Van Morrison. I played a list today, because, like, some of my clients, I play different lists and shit. They listen to Van Morrison. And in one song, the man just said, la, 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 la. That's not music, bro. That was 1969. I listened to disco. Well, you picked an era that... Disco? They 70s. were all drugged out. 70s? They were all drugged out. 80s? They were all drugged out. 90s? They no, were all drugged out. No, 80s wasn't that, wasn't that Really? Bad. New wave music? You were listening to new wave music? Listen, to hair, listen to hair bands, bro. They had points. They were so fucking high. The Breakfast Club. They were so... What's okay, that, the Breakfast that? Club is a movie. The song. <laughs> Again. Still came with the backdrop of 80s, no, okay, even now there's music with a point. All right. And even back then there was music with a point, but there was right. always also music that was popular. Sure. With no point. Absolutely. But that never changed. It was like that back then, and it's like that now is what I'm saying. Like, there's no difference. The eras, the sentiment, the shit that happened, there's no difference between 2021 and 1968.
Prove me wrong. What's the difference? Anything. What's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference between what? 1968 and 2021. Music, musically, music? musically, social climate, anything. What's the difference? Motown was phenomenal. What was the, okay, but, but my whole point, they still make music about love now, till this day. But there was still pointless ass popular music back then. Who makes music about love today? There's no R&B anymore. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. Not to my knowledge, it, it ain't about exist. love. It doesn't exist. Give me an R&B song, it's about love today. Ed Sheeran? I, you, you might not like it. I don't even know. Justin Bieber. Uh, what's the other Stop. fucking... Stop. So Bieber. there you go. Can't turn a life into a home with a kid Leroy. The guy gets his peaches from Georgia. Doesn't matter. That's even what, that's what you people might are talking not, about. Okay, so the difference between that... That's not love. A pe he's getting his peach from Georgia. So the difference between that and, and you know, don't stop till you get enough. Keep up. You don't like Michael Jackson, but it still was Motown back then. No, I think I don't like him. Closer, me. I get closer. Okay. The fuck does that even mean? I don't consider Michael Jackson Motown. He was Motown. Yeah, but... Okay, Mike. Barry Gordy, Motown. What do you tell me? He was Motown. Like, whether you like it or not, the Jackson 5 was Motown, and... Mike Jackson 5 was more Motown than Jack than Michael Jackson. See, because you was. only think about Thriller. You're not thinking about... I didn't say Thriller. But that's when he wasn't Motown. No, we when he talked about what's her name, I don't know. Yeah. Off the Wall was yeah. Motown. Billy like, Jean. Mm. Okay, Billy Jean was after Thriller. Billy go. Jean is in the same era as Thriller. There you go. I'm not talking about Thriller. Thriller came out in 1982. Motown was dead by then. I'm talking about Off the Wall, which was before Thriller, 82. Off the Wall came out in the 70s. He had a fro back then and a little nose, and he was singing, you know, that, that. You're talking about, like, post and, like, bad. I don't like that, Michael Jackson. I need Jerry Curl, drippy Michael Jackson. He he was definitely Motown, 100%. Like Jackson 5 and that, and off the wall was Motown as it gets. It was a Motown album. Pretty young thing, you know. Uh, I know, I look at earlier Motown, that's why. What, like like the Four Tops? Yeah, that's Motown, bro. Okay, okay. come on now. Okay, let's sing sing some like Four Tops or like, like how about Sugar Pie Honey Bun? Sugar Pie Honey Bun. What's the point? Love. Okay. You know that I love you. Okay. Uh, sugar pie, honey bun, you know that I love you. Yeah. What's the difference on paper between that and I get my peaches out in Georgia? Nothing, bro. <laughs> That's my point. My one talks about love. The other one talks about sex. More. Sugar pie, oh wait, it was a sexual healing didn't talk about sex? Yeah. What the fuck do you mean then? They still talked about Different sex song. back then. It doesn't matter. Turn off the lights, light a candle. Teddy Pendergrass, like, they talked that about was romantic. sex. Girl, you know, I, 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 I. they talked about sex back then. That was a different vibe. Nah, the motherfuckers was crying on they songs. They didn't curse on any records. Okay, but you're talking about, okay, the, 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 but so cursing is the difference now. That, it's a collaboration, sure. So the cursing is what the difference. So, yes. so you didn't like Iman's fuck it, I don't want you back. Absolutely not. It's still... How could you even ask me that? It was a good song. Terrible! Yes, it was. That's good. not music! That was a good song. Ugh. Fuck what I said! Exactly. Curse, terrible, terrible so words. So cursing is the problem. It's just the whole thing. So cursing is the problem. There's no beat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good beat. There's no How do you not know? You don't like that song because you don't like that guy. That, that song was good. A terrible song. Come on, fuck you can't what even I sing. Said. Talk about a one-hit wonder. Me. Yeah, he was one-hit wonder. Okay, because nobody likes that. Huh? Well, true, true. one-hit wonder. Yes. yes, that's a yes. true one-hit wonder. Yes, it spoke for itself. Skilo. I don't even need to speak about it. Skilo was one. Yeah. Br uh, 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 was a br the brand new radicals? Was that her name? Brand new radicals. Don't get I asked you for that song in an MP3 chat. It's a great song. And you got, it it got the dreams disease. Yeah. I can give you those all day, but. Like, you can't tell me that Iman. Terrible. Come on, man. You can't even say that with a straight face. Come on. Jay Kwan. About that one? Yeah. Uh, tweet. Oops. I got I got more. Iman's on here like, fuck what I said. That's the only true one hit wonder. On really? List. Kevin Little. Yeah, Kevin Little too. <laughs> you can't say that then. Fountains of Wayne. Isn't that a place in. Up Rule 46. Could have been. Do you remember Fountains of Wayne, though? Yeah. What was the song? <laughs> you gotta start it. Stacy's Mom. Oh, Stacy's Mom, that's right. Well, then they might have another one. How about Lumi D? Yeah. 
How about Crystal Waters? Wait, Tweet? Tweet is a, doesn't have a one-hit wonder? Give me another Tweet song besides Oops. Oops, there goes my shirt. Oh, she's got a... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Anne Marie. I'm sorry. How about Crazy Town? Remember Anne Marie, bro? Yeah. She, she, was, she was with Diddy for a while. No. Yeah. Don't say that. She was. No. Why she, don't we fall in love, Shame right? on you. She didn't have one hit, though, because she had Why Don't We Fall no, in no, Love. No, no, And I, then she had... La, la, that's la, what I was saying. I, she didn't have one hit. You know who's an underrated rapper? Fred the Godson. What do you got to... You, you love being underground. Yeah. Why don't we talk about immortal technique? Like, <laughs> Get out of no, here! Let's throw in the dude with the mask. What was his name? The, the silver... I forget his name. He, he passed away too. May God rest. Um, Logic? Logic sucks. MK... Who else? There was somebody else? Machine Gun Machine Kelly? Machine Gun Kelly. Terrible. Name me one Machine Gun Kelly song. I can't. I actually do like one. It was a Walk of Flock of Flame. It was called Wild Boy. And I like the diss song he did to Eminem. Yeah, you would like that. The fucking beard is weird. It was a good song. No, it's not a good song. All right, here we go. Um, I said Lumi D, which Yo, was Fred the Godson, bro. Is Stop. Underrated. House of Pain, Vanilla Ice, Crazy Town, Punjabi MC. <laughs> you like that? Song. <laughs> it's a good song. It wasn't not. That shit was popping. Got to got the Stop. Why do you gotta do this? Got to got the I'm not playing that. Play it. James Blunt. I'm going to smoke. Cassie. Uh, Meet me on the ghoul. Like Eiffel 65. They, that's not a one-hit wonder because they have two good songs. Name me another one. They have Blue and uh, Move Your Body. Nah, terrible. Trust me. People in Europe know. Baja Men. Oh, yeah. It's definitely one. Nina Sky. Yeah. Uh, Blue Cantrell. Oh, yeah. Hey, ladies. Yep. I said Kevin Little. Wait, they have Joel Santana on this list. Yeah, it's a faulty list. It's a three hit wonders list. How about Laffy Taffy? Girls. Yeah. Did D4 all have another hit? Did D4 all have another hit? Probably. If it's on that list, they probably had another D4 hit. D4 all. I'm trying to think. Nah, they really didn't. No, like, didn't. Like Shorty Lowe did. Of course he did. How about Webstar? You remember this song? Chicken Noodle Soup. Yeah, with a soda on the side. With a soda on the side. Jibs, chain, hailing, chain hang low, Hurricane Chris, A Bay Bay, Mims, this is why I'm hot. Pop lock and drop it, Huey he died too, rest in soul. Um, Brooke Hogan, wait what? Brooke's Hogan? daughter? Yeah. How about Shop Boys? Wow, remember that song? Yes, yeah, you go. Party play. like a rock. Yeah. Remember that fa Okay, this is another thing I was going to bring up, too. Do you remember 2000s fashion? Yeah. What the fuck were we doing? Yeah, but I didn't really engage in it. And are you gonna I was gonna, I, no, I said that. Because I talked about this the other day. I was like, people don't get how, like... Because people talk about now how these kids are stupid. Like, did they realize what the fuck we were doing in 2004, 2005? Like, the shit we wore was stupid. And I said, he didn't do that shit, though. <laughs> no. You didn't do any of that. No. No wallet chain. No. No, like, Ed Hardy shirts. None of that. No, like, you know, like, what else did we, like, I think I still dressed the same way. I said, you dressed like you were an athlete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were like Nike shit. Yeah. I was an athlete. But you weren't. Well, I was. People don't understand, like, the shit that we, because people look now at, like, these young kids and what they're wearing, you know, like, kids are teenagers and shit, like, we were dumb shit like we really did and i know you didn't wear a majority of that but even like but even the some stuff you know like if look at our style that we had like even the jeans yeah i mean you didn't really wear baggy jeans though did you no like, i i wore so big much. my jeans were huge bro like i wore like 40s like my jeans i used to get like 40s remember cargo jeans yeah with the pockets and shit. yeah oh there's the biggest one though jean shorts jean shorts i had a lot of jeans i love shorts. jean shorts is that terrible a little bit. It was like super stupid. Like dumb as fuck. I mean, it's more like painter's jeans. Yeah. <laughs> the, the loops in the pockets and shit. Like, you still, so if you could wear jean shorts, actually you could, because you could if you wanted to. Like, they still have them. Would you wear jean shorts now? I don't know. <laughs> like, what? I, no, I, there's no way. Oh, nah, oh, man. I did have jean shorts though. Me too. You, here's a thing that you, you didn't, I know you, but you wanted to wear this, but you didn't. What? Tall tees. You, no, I, like, I, you would wear those now. Like. I, no, I wore tall tees, but 
I just wore three X's of like regular shirts. Bro, I used to buy four X shirts and they were here, like a short sleeve shirt yeah. and it down to my knees. And like the amount of skulls that I wore is like alarming. Now that I look back, like skulls and hardy shirts with, with a skull. I have like the Jim Jones belt buckle, bro. Like the, the, the remember the We Fly High, like the skull head with the, with the, the rhinestone joints yeah. and, and, the, and the fucking, like the, no, and we thought we were so cool. Von Dutch hats. I did have a Von Dutch hat. No, I had a Von Dutch shirt too, bro. I give you this one too. I had a double polo. What is that? Two polo shirts. But it was one. Nah, okay, I wore two. two at once and popped both collars. And then three six mafias popping my collar was on. I had a grill. Like a whole bottom joint. Smile for me and let me see it. Yeah, man. Air Force Ones, two pair. I needed two pair. I wore backwards jerseys in the early 2000s, bro. Like, baggy everything. Double Nelly headband. Nelly's in the country, by the way, too. You don't want to bring that up, but. Double headbands, bro. Double, like this, crisscross. Backwards jersey like Nelly with the band-aid. Remember the band-aid? You didn't, I know you, because you hate Nelly, but. Nelly's underrated too. I don't hate Nelly. Nelly's underrated. Nelly's underrated. Nelly is underrated. Nelly had hits. I don't think he's underrated. Nelly had hits. He did. Underrated. I'm just not sold on some of his things. I can tell you that. Underrated. Chingy's awesome. Chingy is underrated. Chingy is underrated. See, these these young kids don't know what it was like when St. Louis had like a foothold in the rap game, bro. Like kids don't even know where St. Louis is. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Murphy Lee had hits. Not Nelly, not Chingy. Murphy Lee had a song with Diddy on the Bad Boy sounds. Remember that shit? Shake your tail feather, right? People was dancing like this and shit. And then Jibs came out, and, and, and Huey came Stanky out. Stinky Leg. Was Stinky Leg St. Louis shit? I don't know. If but sure. like, the, the dance, this was the dance, bro. Like, like we was jamming. Yeah. I like the way you do that right there. We was tripping, bro. That's why I can't really like say these kids are dumb these days, cause like, when I look back, we were stupid. What the fuck were we wearing? What were we listening to? Like, we were wearing pink polo shirts. Like, think about that. There was a song. That's how influential. Camera yeah. kids. Sorry, influenced kids are. Well, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Of course. Like I said, I had a, I wore a Band-Aid for like a year, bro. Like a Nelly Band-Aid on everything. I had a Nelly Band-Aid. People had ludicrous sideburns. You might hate it, but it did. I'm going to give you another rapper that people hate on. Super underrated and had hits. Ja Rule. Ja Rule. <laughs> he had hit. People forget because 50 made it cool to not like him. Ja had hits. People act like they weren't listening to holla, holla. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. <laughs> like, and, and what would it be that we do? Like, people were listening to that shit. Remember that? Or like the song with J Lo? What's my motherfucking name? Like, or Ella Cool J's lyrics in the song. He said, Be easy, don't make decisions when you mad. Yeah. Yeah. I used to say that. Because <laughs> it made sense. Like, I used to be like, yo, don't make decisions when you mad. I used to like tell them to calm down, cool them down. Hey yo. <laughs> people don't get how cool like two thousands people thought they were. You know what I'm saying? Like calm down. Like, hey, yo. <laughs> I can't even show pictures, bro. I had I had a Joel Santana uh bandana at one point. That's a fucking L. <laughs> Think about that. I had the the, the fucking the the dupes. Yeah, like the dupes. I, I, I was doing that. Bathing ape sweaters. Uh, ice cream sneakers. Vans, checkerboard vans. Um, I mean, Air Force Ones. I, I mean, people still wear those, I guess. Like, we were tripping. Like, the shit we wore is ridiculous. <laughs> like, we wore, I had jean shorts, bro, that were, they were basically pants. Like, well, no way, ain't no way, boy. You know what I'm saying? And like, bucket you- Bucket hats. I had a bucket hat. I had a Kango bucket. I had a Kango bucket, yeah. I did. I had a Burberry bucket. 
I don't even want to say what song that went to, because like when I think about it now, it's disgusting, but it was R. Kelly. Remember R. Kelly? How about Nick Cannon having hits? Nick Cannon had a hit! Gigolo. That was a hit! <laughs> that was, people, like, let's keep it a buck. When nobody turned that off when it came on. Like, you said it. Forget it. He said, I'm a gigolo, spinning lots of dough. Uh -huh. Hit. Chingy. Hits. Hits. People with Bobby Valentino. Hits. 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 Ludicrous. Oh. He had hits, though. Well, you know. How are you going to tell me Ludicrous ain't had well, hits? Well, you know. Man. He had them. Look, Bobby V was doing worse than Luda. Bobby V. Keep it full stack. Bobby did worse than Luda. What? All I know about it is the music. That's all I know. Yes, you know you don't. Yes, I, I, yes, don't I, know, I know. Bobby V got scandals. No, I don't know. He, Bobby V got scandals. I don't know nothing about that. Trey Songs. Trina. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Da, 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 da. That's 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 not that's Missy, bro. Yeah. But, One minute, man. Yeah. She was on that. She, she was on the yeah. Yeah. ludicrous, the maintenance man. She sat on that couch the whole thing with a button here, just rapping. One minute, two minute. Trick Daddy. You can go back to Master Pete. Yep. Trick Daddy was the shit though. Maya or Maya? Oh yeah. Go back the way back. Maya one twelve. One twelve. Foxy Brown on one twelve. Fox got box to bring rings out your pocket. Like I was actually thinking of the, the album that came out like around the turn of the century joint. The 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 one that with the mob deep beat. What is this that shit was <laughs> come on now. Cupid? Jagged Edge? Come on with Nelly? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nelly, Jagged Edge and Nelly was a bop. It was bop. Spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. You know, because you don't like Nelly. You deny Nelly. You don't give Nelly his flowers. Nelly's a little weak. I don't know. I like him with the uh, lie dilemma. Cap. What's Cap? Yeah, I, that, so How is it ja Cap to say Nelly's weak? So Jagged Edge and Nelly wasn't a hit. What is it? Jagged Edge and Nelly wasn't a hit. Yeah, it was a hit. Okay, and you already knew. You said I don't like Nelly. Because you, you, you said he was weak. He is weak. No, he wasn't. He's extremely weak. No, he wasn't. That's why him and Justin Timberlake make good songs together. Justin Timberlake had hits too, though. Weak. Hits. Multiple. Ooh. <laughs> the fact that you don't like suit and tie still bothers me. No good. That was a hit! Yeah, maybe for you. Come on. I can't wait till yeah. get the... Yeah. What does he say? Skeleton. Exactly. It <laughs> was a hit. Terrible. Nah, it was a hit. It's terrible. Cry me a river. Brutal. Hit. Brutal. What goes around comes around. Great hit. song. Senorita. Hit. Terrible. The one he did with Pharrell. That, that. Don't Terrible. Don't so quick. To What's all about overrated? Pharrell. Ding, 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 ding. What? Pharrell's overrated. No. 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 Yep. No. As a matter of fact, Pharrell's so overrated, he gets sued all the time. So you think Pharrell? Yes, did, Pharrell's not. Good. So he didn't have hits. The Neptunes, Pharrell didn't have hits. I don't know. I was never big on that. So like, even like, I'll go all the way back to like it's original. So easy. Original clips. Remember like yeah. grinding. That yeah. was it. I got news for you. Adrian Pistano played that better than. It. First of all, all he did was that, uh, yeah. Was no, he did the that's Godzilla it. thing. Yeah. That's all he did. He didn't do grinding. He. Oh, that's all he did. Not. Nah. Everybody did grinding, no, though. He, but he played it on the desk. Nah, better than they did. Man. Yeah. Yep. Really? Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, big facts. No, I don't like that stuff. Any of it? No. I Any of it. I'm not really a fan of Snoop, either. Ever. Ah. So, like, doggy style. I like Dr. Dre a lot better. So, like, gin and juice? It's okay. I like Let Me Ride better. <laughs> Yo, it's the same one. shit. No, it's not. You're out of your mind. They both, they're all. I like that Jamaican girl in the beginning. She's like, one, baby, got up, one, one, da, da. And he's like, and then <laughs> that's the best. And so then, you, you, wait, 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 like, wait. This is, right. this is, this is, this is where I'm actually gonna get upset. Good. So, so you think Warren G is a oh, hundred times better? That's so dumb. Bro, Warren G should have made so much more music, and he didn't. You think Warren G and Nate Dogg? The best. What well, Nate Dogg is. Nobody do it better than. Come on. <laughs> Nate Dogg is goaded. Warren G is not better than Snoop Dogg. I he, mean, he looked at the homie saying, damn, what's next? <laughs> I let my dad explode. Yo, Warren G. Is not better than Snoop Dogg. 100%. Doggy Style is one of Snoop the... Dogg built his persona so much better. But Snoop Dogg could With so rap. much drama in that LBC, it's kind of hard being a Snoop D O double G. I never I... got the whole dog thing. What the fuck is there to get? 
So why, why Warren G. Why was everything a dog? No, nobody does it better. Why was everything a dog? So, nobody. No, why was everything dog? No, nobody is better than that. Hundred <laughs> percent. Listen, regulators one of the way. Top five. I mean, I I will watch above the room just to hear the uh, the end. There's no song Leon, like that. Leon Bedeau. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. No. So you think Snoop Dogg sucks? I didn't say that. What'd okay, you say? Overrated. We say he said. We said. I didn't say that. <laughs> Wait. So you think? Never, and me personally, never. Uh, I don't know. Any so, so you don't like anything Snoop Dogg ever did? Nobody does it better than me. Awesome. <laughs> that you're not gonna get that from Snoop. Dr. Dre, like, love Dr. Dre. So you think Dre is better than Snoop? Oh, yeah. S calm down, stop breathing. Stop. I thought you were going to go back to, like, death row type shit. Well, I said, let, uh, let So me you didn't before. like dropping like his heart? Oh, it's so bad. You know what song I like this Snoop So did? bad. No, nah, it was good. There's one Snoop song that's decent, and it's so played out that I'm already over it. Um, I'm beautiful. That was Neptunes. Yeah. But you said you didn't like them! That's it. Come on. Boom, uh, 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 yeah, that was a good boom, song. Because it was boom. different from everything else. Neptunes had hits. You didn't even like grinding. Grinding! No. I, don't, I didn't get any of that. What was there to get? How is that good? <laughs> what do you mean? How is it good? What are you grinding? Now I, gotta teeth? Up, now I gotta look up Neptune songs. There's no way! Ain't no way, boy. Yeah, there is way, boy. No, no! Swear, boy. The... They're gonna show me them by Seaside Heights. The right. rebound. <laughs> All right, here we go. I gotta start naming songs. Nah, man, discography. Nah, not that one. History. How do you do this? Yeah, because it's not in there. Okay, frontin' featuring Jay Z. You frontin' me, baby. Oh, it's so bad. Not my. Not my music okay, at all. I'll give you one. It's not my. I'll music. give you no, because I gotta go back for this. It's one. not my music. I gotta go back for this. Yeah, go back. Super thug. Was that Maya? Nah, Noriega. Da -na -na -na, da -na -na, da -da -na -na. That shit okay, was hot. That's good. That's good. Okay, how about this one? What? 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 Yeah. How about Rump Shaker? What's that? Rex and effects. All I wanna do is zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, come on, no. That's no. Okay. Old dirty bastards got your money. Yeah, good. Okay. Jay-Z's I Just Wanna Love You. Not for me. What? I just okay. wanna love you, babe. That? Nah, it was like... Well, that's Justin Timberlake, isn't it? I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know. No. Remember that shit? Yeah, not only. Okay, how about Shake Your Ass? Okay, Rush Hour. Yeah, remember Mystical? Yeah. Watch yourself! Isn't that Rush Hour? How about Britney's- No, I'm sorry. That wasn't Rush Hour. That was the other one with Jane Fonda, wasn't it? Jane Fonda. The Last Dragon? Okay, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna dragon. play. Shake your ass. Last dragon. That's Leroy. Ready? Ready? I know it is. Do, do, do. That's something with an Asian guy in karate. My man said, "I came here with the mic in my hand to make believe with my dick in your ass." <laughs> That's what the lyrics are. Still, hit. You never saw the one with Jet Li with the he puts the needles in people. Yes. You never saw the movie. No, I did. You never saw it. But you, awesome did, movie. Didn't Colin Farrell do that too? Well, he did a couple of things. How about Britney Spears' I'm a Sleep Yeah, what is that he did? What is that movie he's the Daredevil. Yeah. How about Colin, Colin Farrell? <laughs> How about Britney Spears' I'm a Sleep for You? I, I recognize it's a great song, but I wasn't sitting here listening. How about NSYNC's Girlfriend? Would you be my girlfriend? Come on! Beep, 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 uh. You know how I feel about that stuff. How about lead singles of Justin Timberlake's solo album, Like I Love You, Rock Your Body, and Senorita? Makes sense why I don't like them now. Or him, I should say, Justin Timberlake. Oh my god. Whoever's making InSync's music was so much better than whoever. Okay, did. I'll give you one. I know you like this song. That's why you're like, you just don't know the songs they made. No, I know. No, I'm ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. No, you're not ready for this. You know they made this song? Ready? Ready? Mace. Do you know that that's a Neptune's beat? Makes sense, because it's not his greatest song. Oh my god. You just... Nah. Not his greatest song, it's a good song. Oh, got it. Oh, this is a hit. This is a bop, this is a bop, this is a bop. No, no, you like this song, there's no way. No, if, you, if you don't like this song, right now, if like you don't like this song, turn the video off. I swear to god. Good song. 
That's a Neptune song. Bro. The Zaga's out. You don't like that song. Nope. I don't even play it. Nah, you definitely don't like that song either. Nope. You don't like that one either. I like the song. You definitely don't either. No. You don't like I don't that like one either. This, dude, these songs were all hits to me. I know. I really, for real, thought they were. Like, I know you're not going to apply something. I'm going to waste my fucking time. Good. Oh, you like this one. You like this one. You like this one. It's a Neptune song. if I song. don't? No, you do. I, I'll put, I'll actually bet. Like, you can take whatever's in my pocket right now. Ready? Good song. Come on! Ooh, good one. 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 Oof. You know what? If you don't like this song either, I'll be upset. Ready? Oh, phenomenal. That dude's full. Usher. Come on. Doesn't matter! No, that matters. Beep, beep. Let's call it for what it is. Usher. Amazing. <sighs> you, know, you don't like that one. 100%. <laughs> What's that? Usher. You remind me of a girl. Amazing. Oh, I, you, do you do you do you not like this song? This is LL Cool J. Ready, ready. This, is so much. this shit was hard. I played this all day. This is a bop though. Was it not a bop? Every LL Cool J song. Do you think I'm meant to hurt you? Forget it. Yo, LL. That's what underrated. Underrated. Not not playing that. Nope. Nope. Not playing that either. This is for my own. That shit was hard, right? But who's it for? Number one. Is that what he says? This is from my number one. But this shit. Ready? That was this good. shit was hard. Yeah. There was bops back then, bro. You don't like that either, but I love that song. Not even gonna play it. Um, nope, you don't like that either. I love that song. Nope. You don't like that either. You don't like that either. I don't like that either. I like that. You yeah, definitely don't like you that. You don't like that. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you one that I'm surprised that you like, but you like it. Ready, 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 ready. Neptune's. Get your ego long, girl. This shit was hard. Good. And which I'm surprised good. that you like. Love that song. You don't like that? No. No, you definitely don't like that. No. No, 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 okay, not either. Yeah, 100%. No. Nope. Definitely not. No. No, no, no way. No, because they all stink. I'll give you one that you don't like, but was one of the hardest things they made. This shit was hard. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. This Tokyo is right. This shit was hard! Bro, you know what Tokyo Drift? So I'm saying, like you're, you're like, you're like so fucking nah. Nope, yeah, exactly. Nah, not want to play that. You definitely not playing that. You hundred, hundred. Tokyo Drift was hard. Was no. crazy as fuck. No. Uh, they did that song though. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Everybody else likes these, but you don't. No, you like, nobody likes them. No, because you like get off on being different. No, you're fucking weird. No, you're weird. You're weird like I'm that. I'm not. I'm, I'm honest. No. I call it for what it is. Nope. I hate that song though. Of course you do, because you know sometimes what's good and what's not. Nah, no. No. They did a SpongeBob song. Exactly. <laughs> no, too I rest my case. Okay, so other than Timbaland, because I will give you Timbaland. Timbaland's 100%. Who's better producers of our time than the Neptunes? Timbaland. Um, I'll give you Timbaland. Dr. Dre. Yeah. Um, yeah, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Whoever did that. <laughs> I don't know who does any no, of those songs. No, no. Um, Nobody. Uh, what was uh, Manny Fresh? Awesome. Yeah, he is. I uh, know. I'm, I'm. Oh, Khaled. Come on. Khaled's not a pro. He don't make beats though. Khaled well, just makes, goes. Well, who I, don't, I, I honestly, I have no fucking idea. I thought Khaled made all those beats. Nah, no, he doesn't. Welcome to my hood. That's him. Whoever does That's that. Khaled. No. Look Whoever, it up. Who, it's just not. Look, Canada. Okay. It's I'm gotta gonna, be where I'm there. I'm gonna give you. Okay. Th I'm gonna give you one of the most underrated producers. It's definitely Khaled. He's How like this. How about this one though? I'm gonna give you who the most underrated producer ever because this song. Was, okay. Ready. Ready. Who's the name of the producer? Fuck. I can't remember now. Uh, his name was. Who made the beat? Grand Hustle Boys. His name was Tarantino. No. When I play, when I play this beat, you're gonna. No. Play. You wanna bet? Yeah. I wanna bet me. Quentin Tarantino. No. All he, all I need is this beat, and you're gonna love it. All right. You're gonna love. You're this. gonna love this. Yeah. You're not ready for this. Ready? You're not ready for this. Ready? All right. He's not ready. Ready? 
So, who ever made this beat sucks? Who is it? His name was Tarantino. Oh, I don't give it. All he needed was this beat. This is one of the best beats ever. What about Mike Will made it? Another one. It's a good beat. Nah, top. One of the best beats ever made. Seriously. He carried future on that song. <laughs> Loud pack smelling mustard. That's on the that's the lyric. Nah man. Nah. Mike Will made it. Who's another one? Nitty? Remember Nitty? Nitty was hot too though. Remember Nitty? This nitty beat. In my face. He made walk it out. Two step. All them like funny beats back then. Whoever did toss it up for Tupac. Stevie J was another one though. That was bad boy dude. Stevie J, yeah. Yeah, Stevie. Toss who made toss it up? Boom. Toss it up now. Well, whoever <laughs> made that beat actually made every beat ever back then. Who 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 did hit him up? Wasn't that the same person? Wasn't it Dr. Dre? Maybe. Who made okay. Tell me shit up now. <laughs> when I say this name, you can like see? <laughs> yeah. Producer. Reggie Develmore. There you go. <laughs> what does that mean? There he's you from, go! He's from Compton or something. Uh, he didn't have a Wikipedia page. Of course he doesn't, because that's probably not even him. Okay, who, how about the I Ain't Mad At You beat? Daz Dillinger. <laughs> who are these people? You remember Daz Dillinger? He was part of like Corrupt and all that. You never see him though. No. 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 Who you does, know, who okay, I'll give you a super underrated beat. Who maker. does Dipset's beats? Like, he always says it. Uh, Guru did a bunch Young of Young Guru, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Young Guru, half a dash. But another one too is, um. What the fuck was his name? Half a dash. What the fuck was his name though? The one who did a lot of. Zico first. But Manny Fresh is. Scott gonna, Storch. Scott Storch, another one. I'm gonna give you one that people forget about though. Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley made beats. First of all, anybody who thinks of putting mm hmm in a beat, mm hmm. Like he, the man made no diggity, which was like, nope, that. He's giving up eargasms with his mellow accent. Honestly, nobody ever rambled for like an hour and 45 minutes like we did. And uh, no regrets, but we didn't actually even get to the point of the debate, which is great. Um, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the football talk and all that stuff. Um, if you want to pick your greatest soccer player of all time, I no longer can even pick Ronaldo or Messi because they're all back there. Plus, my personal favorite, which is behind me, which is Ronaldinho. Pele. No, it's Ronaldinho. No. You like Ronaldinho? No. Really? How about Ronaldo? No. No Messi? Messi's all right. I mean, I got only. You don't like Ronaldinho? Uh -huh. Really? Wow. I like Suarez until he bit people. You like Francesco Totti, so I can't even... Totti was the best of all time. Come on. Guy just ran around. He just retired like two years of ago. Of course he did. He played for 77 years. He really did. Though. I know. You know the crazy part is? Francesco Totti played for one team. Yeah. Roma. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, Let's not forget Buffon. He's still playing. Yeah, he is. Come on. He is. He went back to his first club. Well, you can eat Buffon. Yeah, he went back to his first club, Parma. Parmigian. You know where Parma is? Yeah. In Sicily. Sicily. He went back to his first club. He was at Juventus for his whole fucking career. They told him to go home, and he said, nah, I'm going to yeah. play. Yeah. how old he is. He's 42. Yeah, I would have said 58. Catanzaro. If I could get a Buffon jersey, I probably would, though. I like Buffon. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's legit. Solid. I can't stand him, though. Like, just let people score. But no, we can't let him score unless he's told to. Anyway, those are the goats. Bayern Munich, Chelsea. Those are the teams right there. Oh, that's my guy right there, Didier Drogba. Um, yeah, that shirtless guy. It's not you say sauce. who? Didier Drogba. Oh. And he's like uh, Chelsea Champions League 2012. Well, not anyway, um, Tom Brady is the GOAT, but Peyton Manning's also the GOAT, as well as Eli Manning, Joe Montana, no, 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 no. Uh, Jerry Rice, yeah, Barry Sanders, um, Quentin Tarantino. No, uh, absolutely not. Great producer. Miserable. You, that's you. another talk. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, he thinks Quentin Tarantino is a rivet. I do. We'll get into that next week. But anyway, um, I don't know. I got to go because mm -hmm. I don't even know what happened. Uh, Dr. Dre as well as Teddy Riley. Super underrated. So sit up. Neptunes also. No. <laughs> so sit up.